how to deal with a difficult person. I am sure every one of us could recall or at least identify one person who might have been difficult. Well, today we're going to look at the word and see how to handle these situations. God bless you. Hi, thank you for joining us. Today, I want to look at a very interesting subject and the devotion is simply called How to Deal with Difficult People. You know this month of June is Family Month and there are times when you may have to interact with difficult family members or even difficult individuals. And the fact is some people are just difficult. When I say they're difficult, they probably are bad ways. They are hard to get along with. There are some people who, you know, they just don't care. They see what they want. They see whatever comes to their mind. They do whatever they want. They may be selfish. They, 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 they are just, as I said, they are just difficult. And how do we deal with difficult people? And this morning, I just want to focus on one principle. The key, my friend, to dealing with with a difficult person is wisdom. Wisdom. In other words, we need to ask God to show us how to relate to this person and to guide us. And a good person to show us from the word would be King David. You know, the Bible tells us in 2 Samuel chapters 15 and chapter 16, David encountered a difficult man. And this individual's name was Shammai. Shammai. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Shammai. This person, he said all manner of things to David. He cursed David. He threw stones at David. He accused David. He disrespected David in the worst of ways. He was really insulting to David. He was not kind to him at all. And you know what, what David, when David had an opportunity to retaliate and treat the man according to the way the man treated him, David did not react that way. David did not react to the man the way the man treated him. So David was very wise. He was very, um, godly in his conduct and godly in his behavior and the truth is you and i will encounter difficult and challenging individuals from time to time but when that happens when that happens we must always seek the wisdom of god in how we relate to them and try to be godly in our behavior so how do we deal with a difficult person? And I want to leave you with a few um, pointers that may help you. And, and the first one that I want to leave you with, with is this. If someone insults you, they curse you, they disrespect you, as much as you can with the help of God, resist urge to come down to their level. Resist the urge to come down to their level. In fact, I dare say to us today that revenge will never solve your problem. And there is a strong temptation, strong temptation. When somebody treats you a particular way, there is this temptation to react to them the way they have treated you. But my friend, you know what? If somebody goes low, you go high. If they go low, you go high. Don't go low with them. You stay high. Why? Because you're a child of God and you're conscious, you're conscious that even though they go low, is not in your DNA and it is not 
in keeping with God's plan for your life for you to go low with them. So don't even think about revenge because revenge in kind will not solve your problems. Hear what the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay said the Lord. And you see Jesus, he was treated badly, but he, even though the people around him went low with him, he didn't go low with them. He stayed high. And on the same note, try not to allow bitterness to control your heart. Try not to allow things to break your spirit. You know, don't allow these things to get inside of you because that is exactly what the devil wants. He wants. And there are some times, and this is a second lesson here, there are some people and some situations, even when dealing with a difficult person who may have tried to harm you or hurt you, you have to leave that situation in the hands of God. You have to leave that situation in the hands of God. Now, if David was like Shemai, David would have annihilated him. David would have destroyed him. David would have gotten rid of him. But my friend, David wasn't that kind of person. He was a man of God. So he left that situation in the hands of God. And sometimes we need the wisdom of God to know what battles to fight and what to leave alone, what to leave in the hand of Almighty God. In fact, in fact, Let's look a little above, before that. When David encountered Saul, King Saul, King Saul himself was a difficult individual. King Saul did all manner of things to upset David. And, and every time David had a chance to get revenge, you know, David would say, touch not the Lord's anointed. He left that situation in the hands of God. He left that situation in the hands of God. Don't allow a difficult person to distract you. Don't allow them to break your spirit. And, and, and let me tell you this. Sometimes when you're dealing with a difficult person, you know, they could change. They can change. You could pray for them to change. You could love them, encourage them. They could see you're a genuine person and they could change. And then, my friend, there are some people that only God can change them. You can change them. But you learn to love them, you learn to appreciate them, you learn to value them. Why? Because God is in, in, inside of you, His Spirit is inside of you, and He will help you in that situation. And maybe, maybe today you're dealing with a, a difficult person, and you're losing your mind, you're, you're, you're overwhelmed, you're frustrated, you're, you, you don't know what to do, my friend. God will give you the grace and the strength and the wisdom to deal with that. But as I, as I advise you, as I advise you, even though they go low, you don't go low with them. You stay high because you are a child of God. So God bless you. You know, as I end, I want to remind you that we have a prayer line. If you need prayer, you can call this number 354 one two six six and there's someone there on the line three five four one two six six and we'd really love your help if you can help us by sharing these messages by liking and subscribing to the channel it would help us to get the word of god also god bless you bye bye